Okay, so I guess I, I guess I do have the ability to kill the Scion right now, don't I? Because even though they rally, let's see. So they rally, but I'm at 17. Oh, it has Scout also. Yo, all right, Scout also. This card is insane. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zareth Zillion. That's right, we're going to be playing a landmark deck today, and we got double landmark decks for our first two. We're going to be playing Malphite Ziggs after this. Um, this is going to be a deck like where we're going to want to destroy a lot of ally landmarks, of course, with Zareth. And Zareth's a slower control champion, right? Because once, whenever you're destroying your landmarks, you're dealing damage to the weakest enemy. And we compare that with Zillion, who's another slower uh, control champion that is creating these time bombs. These time bombs are dealing one damage to all enemies, and that's a landmark getting destroyed. So that works very well with Zareth. So they pair they pair well together. So we're going to pair them together with uh, Bandle City, because Bandle City has some other uh, important landmarks to go ahead and destroy. And then Bandle City also gives us a top-end card that's a really good win condition in our deck, the Arsenal. The Arsenal has that random keyword. For each allied landmark you've destroyed this game, hopefully that's a lot of landmarks. You know, if we can play this with like, after we destroyed like eight landmarks, we're talking about an eight six with eight random keywords, and that's going to get uh, pretty crazy. Now, the Arsenal is bugged right now. It does have Spell Shield infinitely. The Spell Shield never goes away, so that's, that's obviously a problem. But that's supposed to be fixed tomorrow. They did announce um, some hotfix changes they they announced five card changes and they would be fixing that bug so even though we are playing it today because this is just whenever the donation deck came up hopefully we don't we won't really take too much advantage of that ability but anyway let's get to it let's go ahead and play our deck we're gonna have some zareth zillion we'll head on over to ranked got a new icon i like this little Timo icon it looks really cool the stitching and everything how it looks But even after the Arsenal bug is fixed, I think it's still going to be just a really good card anyway, uh, even after that. It's basically like being able to play Victor, essentially, in this deck. So we, we essentially, it's essentially the third champion for us. So that Teemo icon that I was just showing, hopefully they get rid of those, those pink, that those bugs or those things, but um, that Teemo icon was from the the uh, the latest. What are they called? Like, um, not rewards, but um, event. The event. The latest event. That's what it's called. Let's go and make some time bombs. Yeah, I think we're just. I don't know. I we'll take an endless devout. Devout. Yeah, now that gives them a a good attack with the green glade lookout. Let's think about playing the rock hopper instead. So I want to play the Rock Hopper second, so that you know like, they play their thing, and so now like if their plan is Viego or Thrash, really, you know, like either one, we can give you know the champion vulnerable. We destroyed two landmarks so far. There's two landmarks here that are about to be destroyed. Kind of nice. 
Walking is strange. You are nothing. That syncopation card is always super useful, so I'm, I'm glad to get that out of their hands. Card's always really, really good. Okay, so we're going to use the Sin Pathways, draw a couple more cards. That was a very good round for them. For sure, getting getting this Hydrovine in play for five. Man, a great green blade lookout. That was a great round for them. Yeah, we are... We are looking pretty dead. Destroying landmarks is just going to kill the encroaching mess. It's not, we're not going to be able to ever touch these things because then they just keep on making encroaching mess every single round. Very good Hydrovine. This is the card that makes... This is the reason why Viego is so good. It's this, this Hydrovine is the card. Good game, opponent. GG's. GG, Hydrovine. Alright, we got Poppy Lulu. Lulu Poppy. Definitely get rid of one of those. And... Man, this is a slow hand. It's not necessarily that bad of a hand, it's just really slow. Let's just start over. Okay, this is better. Smith. Giving everything quick attack. Yep, their their deck's gonna be pretty aggressive. This card seems seems kind of perfect with Lulu. Just give everything quick attack. Like that card seems just awesome with Lulu. Oh, yeah, I think that's a good call that they're playing that. Yes, mama, it's a beast, mama. So I want to play this to do four damage to one of these things. I'm just not very convinced that that's gonna work. And then that that wastes the stun where you know next round stun would also be better. I really wish this wasn't slow speed. Wow. Alright, well. Never mind. Never mind. That game is over. 
Yeah, good good hand opponent having both champions. Have those Lulu and Poppy together. That was a, quite a strong combination. I could have... I guess I could have not... I mean, I could have played out the other two minutes and let y'all see what was going to happen of all my stuff dying and my, my Nexus dying. But... They always have the Lucian spell. Well, I guess I'd... Yeah, I guess I should have passed then. Hey, Nasher. Okay. All right, so I really like that we have the Zillion on, too. Maybe get some time bombs. I'm going to just skip. There's some okay cards in there, but just going to skip. This Ride of the Arcane. Um, do I care if they, if they use Sharp Sight? They haven't played a Landmark yet, so... Allied landmark. Kill Aurelia. So this flawless duet's about to start costing two mana, which kind of makes sense. You know, duet is two. That's why I played. That's why it's blade dance two. But it will also cost two mana. I wish Zillion was a summon, create four time bombs. We love it when they run. That would be better. I think the balance patch changes are going to happen tomorrow, I believe. It is possible that it's next week, not tomorrow. But I believe it's tomorrow. You need not follow, but you will witness. Yeah, Otterpuss is really good. That card, Otterpuss is a very, very good card. Just pranks in general. It's really strong, and you know, you just get your 1-1 one, one and get your mana back to prank. Otterpuss feels similar to... Um, what's his name? Like the, the Ionia card that was like you know, one mana and a tune one and drew a card every time you put it back in your hand. That's what Otterpuss seems like the new version of that card. Dancing Droplet, yeah. It's the new Dancing Droplet. That a, a tune mana is just so important for that one mana card. Wait, I get to destroy their landmarks. I should have just—I should have led with this in case they do like a blade dance thing. That's a good teen spirit. Get rid of that emperor's dice. That's pretty good. So we've killed an Aurelia. We've killed an Azir. Oh, they could have homecoming. Okay, good. And now we've killed an emperor's dice. We've killed one of each of their three champions. All in the shoulders. Yes. I'm just gonna let Zillion die. I don't want them to be able to just challenge the Zillion. Alright, three cards left. Oh, you still draw the card? I will the power from the 
That's augment and fury. Augment being the worst keyword, and then fury being uh, one of the worst. Basically just doing this to just have another land market destroyed. Should go left to right, so I think it may choose the one on the right. Yeah. Kill the Green Blade duo. Lifesteal. Lifesteal's good, but we can also just wait a little bit more and play this time bomb. I am glad I didn't spend eight man on the arsenal with them having that recall card. Nothing will stand in my way. I don't know what happens like if they if they recall the art you know like if they would recall the arsenal if they just get all the same keywords back if they'd have if it had different keywords. All right, we got the spell shield bug now. I can learn from watching you. All right, so it just ends the game. Spell shield, life steal. Just ends the game. It has fury as well, so it's just gonna grow. And there we go, that's, you know, just getting, like, Victor with all the keywords at just one time. Just spend your eight mana, you don't have to do anything else. It's pretty nice. So while I could, you know, attack and stuff like that, all, that, all the, those things died if I just passed the round. We can't lose. So. All right, we're one and two. That's so. That's what our deck's supposed to do. That was a really good showing against a good deck with a really Azir. GGs. They're all really good. Okay, we're back to Lulu Pompey. Okay. Okay, so we get to retry this matchup again. A very expensive hand. I want to keep Ride of the Arcane because it does threaten killing both champions. Oh, the arsenal... I thought the arsenal was a summon effect. Now, when am I? And so you're telling me it's not a summon effect, that it will just continually get more keywords while it's in play? coming. Yeah, it's not summon when I'm summon grant me. It's, yeah, so it just always has. It's an aura effect, yeah. And I guess that's why it lets you know what it is before while aura is in effect. Have Zillion block the three one. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. 
out some danger. Definitely considering destroying a mana gem. That's what I was kind of thinking about. Think about using the stress defense on the on the poppy. If I use stress defense on poppy, it turns into a one six, so it will still it will buff up the bandle commando, but it won't buff up these three things. If I don't, I can simply block. No, I think we should probably do that. That sounds like something we should do. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is, Dan. Yeah, I mean, Pike's level 2 just continually kill stuff, and you get the Scion returned, and then it kills that. That's, that's just how it go. I'm planning on playing Time Bomb this round, Arsenal next round. Okay, only the attack there. So do they have, yeah, they have different keywords. They both have Challenger. That's Challenger and Quick Attack. This one is... I think we're going to take the one with Life Steal and Spell Shield. Put that one in play. This is really nice being able to play three champions. Playing Zillion, Zareth, and the Arsenal. Basically, Victor. Now, that'll do. Actually, I was at 17. I should have taken the, the quick attack, probably. Just as I thought. We've, had, we've had good, fast games either way, especially for like a slower control deck like this. Like, Arsenal just ends the game right away. <laughs> yeah, you, all right, cool. You've been liking Scion? Yeah, Scion's awesome. Great card. Well, if... Yeah, if you're frustrated with Teemo, you do have the opportunity to play... Uh, there's the two-mana Piltover and Zong card that does one damage to, to two different things, and you discard for it. You could play that card in your Scion deck. That could do, like, one damage for... Two mana. Of course, there's also just Mystic Shot. You can also just simply play Mystic Shot as well. That's an option. Just leading with the two one to block the three three. If it's medicine, I can ride it. <laughs> Scion's the Hulk. See that Scion is basically the Hulk. Why would the O2 block? I don't I don't know why they just threw away their O2. The party has arrived. Zillion. Zillion, find me some time bombs. I'm playing right now is basically like stun Scion and hope our arsenal is really good. We've had a good amount of 
landmarks already destroyed, so we've had three already destroyed. Time is winding. Like a waltz. Could take the 2-4 that makes a 5-4. For this hexplosive minefield, but... Time bomb's always good. Let's do this. Mm, good attack with that two one. Dealt two damage to me. Good attack there. Those are some <laughs> those are some landmarks blown up. Yeah, we're just gonna need a really nice the arsenal. That's my main plan right now. Would you look at this place? Soul ten stitches to awaken the blood. What is it for you? So two rounds away from playing the arsenal. I kind of think it's impossible for Scion not to be leveled up. I really do, because even whenever you play it, it's going to be like, you know, like a 10-6 also. I really think if this said 50 instead of 35, like I was thinking about this yesterday, if this said 50 instead of 35, it would be leveled up like 80% of the time. Right now it's leveled up 100% of the time. It would still be like 80% if it was 50 instead of 35. So this will be able to stun Scion and kill Draven both Draven. with one card. I mean, even for, like 40 is not even 40 is nothing. It'd be leveled up 100% of the time with 40 also. I actually kind of think I really think it should be like 50, because it, it sees itself summit. Like it's it's always 35 before you even play it. That could be a really poor use of that card that I just played. Yeah, maybe that was a really poor use of that card. You want a big boob? Yeah, call this what all do we have? Okay, it has Spell Shield, Challenger, Quick Attack, Overwhelm, Life Steal. Good, it had Life Steal down at the bottom. Good, 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 good. The Wheel of War. I don't think this game's over. This game's definitely not over. Okay, so I guess I, I guess I do have the ability to kill the Scion right now, don't I? Because even though they rally, let's see. So they rally, but I'm at 17. Oh, it has Scout also. Yo, all right, Scout also. Okay, never mind. We did win. This card is insane. Like they just improved Victor. Like much, much improved Victor. This is this card is so much better than Victor. But yeah, you're right. Maybe we do challenge Scion first, actually. They're still going to want to play something else first. Yeah, this card is, is ridiculous. How is this card printed? Even, like, they get rid of, like... I know there's the Spell Shield bug right now, but even if they get rid of that, it's just... It's like, what? What's going on here?
That's the wrong order to attack. Oh, I had lethal if I challenged the 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, I, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah, I was not I was not paying attention to their Nexus total. With double Hexplosive Minefield, I'm not too worried about this getting challenged. Yeah, I mean, I didn't even look at their Nexus total. So yeah, I, I, it's, uh, it's like I missed the map, I just didn't even look at it. You're back from vacay, very nice. I am doing really good. Definitely doing good, you know, just a normal day of Terra today. All right, we're gonna go ahead and zillion, put some more time bombs in here. Let's see what else we got. I think a desert naturalist. Desert naturalist blows up the minefield, which will give the arsenal another keyword. Cause yeah, this so this is just an aura effect, so it's going to continually gain more keywords. Man, this card is silly. Oh, now it's tough. Why not? There we go. So that's how we beat Scion. You just have to have, like, Scion with all the keywords in the world. <laughs> Basically, the arsenal. Just, like, looking at that game and everything, and just, like, looking at what that card did, like... I am really surprised they printed this card. You know, you have to build around it, of course. You have to you have to destroy landmarks. But each time you destroy a landmark, you're giving this thing a, a keyword. And so it's just going to have all the keywords. And so it's just going to be, like, the perfect card. That is some unleashed energy there with the arsenal. So there we go. That was Zareth Zillion. It, it started off a little, you know, a little... You didn't start off that good. You know, we lost the first two. And the second game in particular, kind of... I didn't play around Rally... Could have played around the rally better, but it didn't look great at first. But then the last three games, our deck looked really strong. We we defeat we went back, you know, defeated the Lulu Poppy that we lost to the first time. We defeated Aurelia Azir, like, and that that game wasn't even close at all. Just dominated Aurelia Azir, and then Draven Scion, which was definitely a very close game. We were pretty close to dying, but we had the Arsenal come through and pull that off, and especially the Arsenal getting that life steal. That really helps, but yeah, I think this could, think this definitely could be a really good deck. It's got a good a lot of good stuff. Zillion is good as always. Time bombs, super nice. This Pokey Stick was a just a good quality interaction spell. Something that Sharima doesn't have. Deal one, draw a card, and that paired really well with the time bombs. Yeah, so that that looked really good. All right, but anyway, there we go. That's Zareth Zillion. So those y'all watching later on YouTube. Hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the arsenal. Um, it looks pretty insane to me. Uh, yeah, let me know what, what y'all think of the card. All right, that's going to be it here for Zareth Zillion. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.